Okay guys, tip number one is just going to be a really simple one about the ball cam. Press triangle to turn the ball cam on and off and what this does is, once it's on, the camera will follow the ball instead of the car. Makes it much easier to locate the ball and uh, it stops you from driving in a corner and panicking. Now the only time that I generally turn the ball cam off is if the ball's directly above me and I can't see it or if I need to refill my boost. So you turn it off, quickly refill my boost, ball cam back on and go for it. Simple as that. Uh, it's up to you how you use the ball cam and just uh, practice. Numero two is going to be about speed. So if you've been in a game, enemy players, enemy players, the opposing team, not enemy players, you wait to score on your goal and you have no boost. What do you do? Drive slowly, try and get to them. No. This was also explained in the tutorial, so if you played the tutorial, you'll know this. But if you double jump forward, you go a lot faster. I mean, much faster. I think it's actually faster than actually boosting. Not too sure. You could also do it in reverse as well. Uh, and also, if you combine that with boost, well, that's it. There we go. What's that? About three seconds to get from one end of the pitch to the other. So just keep that in mind, I've noticed a lot of people just seem to boost from point A to B and it's not as effective as double jumping. So, there we go, it's tip number two. That's just a quick one to show you where the big boosts are. So we've got one here, 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 here and here. And it's good to know where these are in the midst of a game if you're needing that extra oomph and uh, that's that one quick tip. Uh, we're going to talk about spinning in this one. I think the, the default key that it's on is square, but I, uh, I recommend changing it to one of the shoulder buttons. I've got it on the L1 button. It's just uh, it's much easier to hit when you're in the air. So what it does is uh, if you hold it and push uh, the analog button, you get more leverage when you're in the air. You get more control over your car. It's uh, essentially really, really good when you're, when you're flying, but we'll go over that in another tip. So yeah. Change it to one of the shoulder buttons, if you want, if you like the square button, by all means you use that. And uh, that's that, on to tip number five. In this one we're going to learn how to fly. Now to fly what you want to do is boost while you're in the air. This is where the last tip comes in handy with the spinning. So if you just jump and boost, that's it, you'll go flying in the air. If you uh, hold down on the analog, it'll give you leverage so you can go up the way. Per so, and if you hold down on the analog, well, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to go straight to the ground. So this is what is good for these air shots. So you could jump in the air, utilize your spin, bang the ball straight into the goal, and have everyone else on your team basically jumping out their chair, giving you a round of applause, and looking for your address to give you a high five. So yeah, on to tip number seven. Seven, six. Now for this tip, a lot of new players seem to make this mistake is they see the ball and they just want to take that ball, they chase that ball like a dog going for a bone. They will just keep chasing this ball and chasing that ball. But instead, I recommend hanging about midfield, midfield or goal, whatever you feel comfortable with. Sit here, let your other teammates chase the ball like the dogs and then you can just go in any opportunity that arises. And plus, you're playing defensive as well, so you're going to be stopping the other team from scoring goals. So, anyway, that's the tip video over and done with. It's just for beginners. Probably get an advanced one out soon enough. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you later.